Hello, this is Wise Owl. Thanks for checking out my channel. It's day 29 of the July painting challenge. I'm still working on my Beastman army, although now I'm spending a little bit of time working on my gore units instead of bestigores. Uh, this is just a dry brush treatment. Uh, some of these gore I didn't get to use my airbrush on, so I painted them by hand and I'm trying to simulate the zenith painting style that the rest of the army has. So I'm using Vallejo model color uh, Andrea Blue and I'm just doing a downward direction dry brush uh, to simulate that you know, uh, top-down airbrush blast of, of the light blue color. And it's turning out pretty well. They're going to be a little bit different than the rest of the army, but not so different that it'll make a difference. And, and actually having a little bit of variety across the figures is nice sometimes. So I'm going to go around and finish all of these. I think there are about 20 of them. And then we'll be ready for the next step. This is what they look like when they're finished. Uh, obviously not done with an airbrush, but still totally acceptable for core units in this army. What I really love about these figures is the face sculpts. They're so animated, so full of contempt and hatred. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to paint. Once I was finished with the dry brushing, I decided that I would give all the cloth areas another coat of Vallejo model color orange red. The blue was still showing through that first coat because the paint is, well, I thinned it down a bit and you just didn't, I didn't get the nice consistent orange color that I was hoping for, so I decided I'd give all of the cloth areas a second coat. Some of the models may even need a third coat of the orange red before I move on to the wash stage. I'm going to use Citadel Seraphim Sepia as a wash for the cloth. It'll give a nice shadow without altering the orange color too much. So that's what I'm going to spend the rest of my time working on today. Uh, you don't need to sit and watch me put a second coat of orange red on all of these figures. So I'm going to stop the camera here, go through and finish everything up, and then I'll be back in a moment and show you what I did. So this is how far I got today. Still quite a few models in the box to do, but I'll work on them again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.